everybody and welcome back. This is part 46 of our Trumpeter 1200 scale hood build. Uh, in this video, uh, because I've had a short week, I've been out all week, uh, I'm just going to be fitting the ship's boats uh, today in this episode. But you've seen them all being built uh, back at the bench. Uh, but now's the time eventually to get them onto the model. The majority of that installation is pretty straightforward. There's just a case of gluing them in their positions to the deck. We've got a little bit more of a job to refit one of the 16 foot dinghies that uh, broke off a long, long time ago. It's been in storage for a few months now, but uh, that's going back on. The bench work that we've got to do this week is to build and fit the davits which hold the 27 foot whalers uh, on the aft side of the ship. So we'll just spend a little bit of time over at the bench get those davits and attachments uh, all built up and ready, fit them to the model, and then we can fit the whalers and all the rest of the boats. So the first thing we'll do is we'll get over to the bench and get those davits built up, and then we can get those whalers fitted to the hull side. Right, so we'll get the uh, davits sorted out for these uh, whalers, 27 foot whalers. I'm just going to be doing the starboard side because I've got some work to do on the bulkheads on the port side. Uh, so I'll do that later when that's finished. Uh, but let's get the parts off that we need for this. We've got uh, a brass turned part for the main sort of beam that goes across between the davits. Uh, and I'll cut the davit parts out. Okay, we'll fold these uh, davits up first. Uh, you might be able to hear a fan in the background as well as the rain that's belting down. The fan is just to, uh, it's the local extractor next to the workbench uh, and it's just to extract the solder fumes. I'm going to solder these up. We don't want to be breathing solder fumes if we can avoid it. So these have uh, four bends to it. You can see it's a four layer part for these davits. So they'll be quite thick when it's finished. So the first bend, we've just got to be careful to do the bends in the correct order. Now with these, when we've got these under an 80 degree folds like this. I just use a little bit of uh, flux paste on the inside and then just dab some solder on the outside of the part and that just makes the solder run into the gap and hopefully hold it together. So that's the first That's the second bend and then obviously that just folds back on itself. We have this little, uh, I presume it's like a fair lead, so that just needs to come through 90 degrees do that before we solder it because the solder could lock that up. So that's ready to go. I'm just checking that there are no more brackets to bend anywhere. There's just that little one on the side. So you can see if you look from the front we've got the fairly tight bracket and we've got this little bracket as well which looks like a pulley actually. Just to bend out. 
and I'll use some locking tweezers on this just to get it into the correct position and then in with a soldering iron just like that and that will hold it together that's all we need to do I will go around the other exposed surfaces or edges just to make sure we've got a good join really and we can just sand those smooth or just file the excess solder off so that holds together perfectly well I'll just clean it up just a tiny bit it doesn't need much we've hardly put any solder on there at all So that's the first of the pair of davits for the boat. So that's the two davits. Each of them has two brackets which fit to the uh, bulkhead on the whole side so obviously there's a fold with these are pretty small um, but I suppose it'll just give that extra little bit of support for these when we come to fit them I'll just see if we can get solder on these they would be better soldered but I'm not sure we'll be able to do that just switch that off I've stopped soldering now so don't need the extraction just need to make sure these bases are clear down at the bottom where these brackets fit. No, I think it's going to be difficult to line those up properly. I think what I'll do is glue these to the whole side, the two brackets. Then I know that they're in the correct position. And then I'll just drop the davit into the bracket. I think that'll be the most accurate way of doing this trying to solder this it's a very loose uh, sloppy fit so if I try and solder that and it just gets into the wrong position slightly uh, the davit's not going to sit uh, at 90 degrees to the whole side so we'll get into difficulties with that and I'll get a good secure fixing with some super glue of these brackets to the hull and then just drop the davit in we have uh, some nets to fit to the main boom which goes all the way across so this boom will join the two davits together something like that but first of all before we do that we've got to thread these little uh, I presume there's some sort of rope ladder we've got to thread that onto the boom so each one of the loops has to come through 90 degrees like that and actually I should have just rolled this a little bit they're actually curved I should have done that before I did the bends of the loops You just want to introduce that curve onto these they hang down and the bottom end here fits it fixes to the uh, deck just under the railings and there 
and just thread that on. Let's curve it before we fold the loops. It's much easier. I'm not gluing any of these because they're all going to need adjustment when they go on the ship. The actual boats are slung on these here and they just simply glue to the underside of the davit. So I'm just going to have to work out how I'm going to do that uh, to get a good fixing. It's not going to be uh, that easy. I'm going to have to have some sort of support to hold the uh, whaler onto the davit while it sets up. But we'll cross that bridge when the time comes. In the meantime I'm just going to go over and get these brackets fixed to the uh, hull side and the davits put in position. I'm going to fit these brackets now and the positions where we need to put them is located on the uh, brass bulkhead that was in the Pontos kit, that's this part here. And on reflection I wouldn't have fitted this part up until this stage because the number of times I've knocked this railing and bent it, I've managed to get it straight again but I've caught it many many times and uh, it could have got broken quite easily so there's no need for this uh, bulkhead to be fitted uh, just yet uh, obviously until this stage. So if I were to do this again that's one of the things that I would learn from this build uh, not to put those bulkheads in place until you absolutely need them. Okay so we'll put the brackets on. I'm using thick super glue. This assembly is obviously going to be extremely delicate now. Uh, if I knock it, it's bound to break. I'm not going to be able to uh, not break it if I touch it. So at this stage of the build you just got to be really careful when you're out when you're around the model. Very peculiar weather we've got rain you might be able to hear it and brilliant sunshine. Obviously I'm putting these on and you'll notice I haven't primed them. Uh, and that's because they're really not going to get any handling once they're fitted. And I also had a concern that the primer would block the holes up or restrict the holes anyway. Let's see if we can get these davits on now. Or at least use them just to check that I've got the two brackets perfectly vertical. Well that first one's alright. So I'm going to, whilst I've got the chance, I'm going to glue that in position. At this stage I'm just gluing the uh, base of the davit to the bottom bracket, not the top. I'll put some extra thin in the top. That might need a little bit of reinforcement. I'll just put some extra thin in here. I just want to make sure that these joints are pre pretty solid.
Okay, they're nice and strong. Put this uh, cross piece on now. This just falls into a couple of hooks. So this cross piece actually needs a little bit of adjustment. The brackets that it sits into need to be bent uh, outwards a little bit, forward and aft for this one, because the bracket itself uh, will only fit in one place. Uh, and the only way I could get that to fit uh, was to just open those brackets up a little bit. But it's gone in now, and now that I've got it where I want it, I just want to add a tiny drop of extra thin super glue just to secure it before I bend the ropes up. You obviously have to be careful at this stage because you're working very close to the hole that you've painted. So we'll just uh, let that set for a moment. All this is adding to the strength. And when I say strength, it's a relative term. This isn't strong at all. Uh, but at least when you get these parts in, it does stiffen it up a little bit. And then just bend the nets up and drop the tail of them onto the deck. And I'm not going to glue those. I'll just get uh, run the risk of getting glue on the deck, which I don't want. And then we have this uh, rope, which fits to the end of the davit. Just looking for the hook for those. Sorry, I think I covered that up with my hand. So I think that that's as good as I'm going to get it. It's not too bad. So I want to paint that now before uh, we fit the whaler itself, uh, which I think is going to be fairly tricky because there's not an awful lot of location for it. Okay, so I'll get the airbrush out and get that painted up. Try and fit this whaler now. So I'm going to put some thick super glue on the slings on the davit, which are here. I'll have to do a little bit of touch up with this. Just pray for a few seconds. I think we'll call that a result. I'm not going to touch that. That's gone pretty good. I'm going to have to come back in on this bulkhead and do the uh, fill the scuttles in with some crystal clear. I'll do that when I do the uh, rest of the side hull details in the next episode, I think.
Pontos actually provide uh, some slings that go underneath the whaler. But I'm going to think of a different way of uh, representing those because I don't think those parts will look right when they're fitted. The fairly thick etch brass strips which are meant to sling underneath. Uh, but I'm going to think of a different way of some thin wire or something like that probably. I think that will give a better result. So uh, in the meantime that's uh, all done. I'm happy with that. We can now go ahead and fit the rest of the ship's boats. Okay we'll uh, start to fit the rest of the boats now. Uh, and we're going to start with this one which is the 42 foot motor launch which goes inboard forward just here. Uh, for these boats I'm going to be using some MIG Ultra Glue which is this one. It's uh, nice and strong and it's washable as well so if I drop any of these whilst I'm fitting them it's uh, not going to be the end of the world. I can just have a clean up and we'll be good to go again. Okay, so this is uh, slightly tricky because I've got to be leaning over so it might block your view. I apologise if it does. Yeah, I think that's gone in. Next to that we have a 35 foot fast motor boat. There's one of these part and starboard and that just goes alongside the launch that we've just fitted. Oh, that's good. So just uh, behind those boats we've got this stack which is uh, a 32 foot cutter and a gig, 28 foot gig I think it is, uh, stacked inside and they go just uh, to the side of the number two starboard mountain. So just coming forward the first thing I'm going to do is fit this or refit this 16 foot motor dinghy uh, which belongs on a crutch next to the MFDF office and that was uh, knocked off a long time ago uh, and I've not refitted it since so now is it's time to uh, go back on. And next to it we have this 25 foot fast motor belt which is a bit different to the ones on the port side. It's gone in alright. So we'll have to swap over now to the port side to do the port side boats which are all different. Okay so we're on the port side now and the first up are these 25 foot fast motor boats. There are two of these to fit. I can't really get my fingers in there so I'm going to have to do this with And then there's one slightly further aft, right on the outboard side. So 
So moving further aft, this space here is filled with the 45 foot barge and a 32 foot cutter inside. And next to that we've got the second of the 35 foot fast motor boats. And I just want to get these symmetrical uh, port and starboard so the same distance aft. With these I'm actually gluing the cradles on the inboard side and that's just to hide any glue on the decks. You do need quite a bit of glue to get these to fix properly but you don't want it on these outside edges where you can see it. I've put plenty on the inboard side uh, because obviously you can't see it where the launch is there. This Admiral's barge is a quite a tight fit into this back space here and I've not made it easy for myself because I've got these halyards here in the deck which just uh, restrict the space that we've got to fit this. But it does just go in. I just need to hold that down because it's actually pu pushing the signals halyard slightly to inboard. Okay, so that's uh, gone in. It's a bit of that. It's a, a bit of a strange angle. It's not exactly fore and aft. So uh, there's not much I can do about that really. That's the only place it'll fit. And obviously it can't obstruct this gangway here. If I moved it any further back or any further outboard, it would be blocking this uh, gangway, which would look pretty strange really. So that's gone in all right. That's fine. Okay, so that's all the boats uh, fitted. Apart from the whaler on the port side, but I just need to do a little bit more work on the rear screens before I can uh, fit that. Okay so there we are all the boats uh, fitted at long last they've been in storage a lot of them have been in storage for a very long time now and it's uh, always best to get them fitted to the model rather than keep them in storage where uh, quite often I find that they do get damaged a little bit. Uh, so that's all good that's another big stage out of the way all the boats fitted Okay, next week I'm going to be finishing off all the bridge equipment. Uh, there's quite a bit to do on that. There's some various uh, lookout binoculars uh, and a couple of pom-pom directors to fit on there. Uh, some railings to fit as well around the bridge just to finish it off, particularly around the quad mountains. So I'll be doing uh, finishing all the bridge work next week. Uh, and I might, if I've got time, move on and do some of the work to the hull sides now that... I've got all the work done on the uh, inboard side of the ship. So that'll be coming up as usual next Friday. Hopefully it might be a bit of a longer video. Uh, I've got a full week back in the shed next week after an absence this week uh, on a little bit of a break. So as I say that'll be coming up uh, next Friday. I hope to see you then everybody. Uh, in the meantime enjoy your modelling, stay safe uh, and I'll see you in another seven days. So bye for now.